The Old Man and His Grandson, from Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion Edwards. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain, read by Bob Neufeld. There was once a very old man, whose eyes had become dim, his ears dull of hearing, his knees trembled, and when he sat at table he could hardly hold a spoon and split the broth upon the tablecloth. I let it run out of his mouth. His son and his son's wife were disgusted at this. So the old grandfather at last had to sit in the corner behind the stove, and they gave him his food in an earthenware bowl, and not even enough of it. And he also looked like a little bit of eyes such as, and he not hold the bowl. <laughs> Ground and broke. The young wife scolded him, but he said nothing and only sighed. Then they brought him a wooden bowl for a few haypence, out of which he had to eat. They were once sitting thus when the little grandson of four years old began to gather together some bits of wood upon the ground. But what are you doing there? asked the Old Sultan, from Grimm's Fairy Tales, by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion Edwards. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Bob Neufeld. A shepherd had a faithful dog called Sultan, who was grown very old and had lost all his teeth. And one day, when the shepherd and his wife were standing together before the house, the shepherd said, I will shoot old Sultan tomorrow morning, for he is of no use now. And his wife said, Pray, let the poor faithful creature live. He has served us well a great many years, and we ought to give him a livelihood for the rest of his days. But what can we do with him? said the shepherd. He has not a tooth in his head, and the thieves don't care for him at all. To be sure, he has served us, but then he did it to earn his livelihood. Tomorrow shall be his last day, depend upon it. Poor Sultan, who was lying close by them, heard all that the shepherd and his wife said to one another, and was very much frightened to think tomorrow would be his last day. So in the evening, he went to his good friend the wolf, Old Sultan, from Grimm's Fairy Tales, by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Old Sultan, from Grimm's Fairy Tales, by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Translated by Edgar T Old Sultan, from Grimm's Fairy Tales. The Old Man and His Grandson, from Grimm's Fairy Tales, by Jacob and... The Old Man and His Grandson, from Grimm's Fairy Tales, by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Translated... The Old Man and His Grandson, from Grimm's Fairy Tales, by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion. Old Sultan, from Grimm's Fairy Tales.
old man and his grandson. From Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion Edwards. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Bob Neufeld. The Old Man and His Grandson. From Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion Edwards. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Bob Neufeld. There was once a very old man whose eyes had become dim, his ears dull of hearing. The old man and his grandson. The old man and the old man and his grandson, from Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion Edwards. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The old man and his grandson, from Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion Edwards. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Bob Neufeld. There was once a very old man whose eyes had become dim, his ears dull of hearing, his knees trembled, and when he sat at table he could hardly hold a spoon and split the broth upon the table. The Old Man and His Grandson, from Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, translated by Edgar Taylor and Marion Edwards. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain, read by Bob Neufeld. There was...